You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. I have got a kind of a comprehensive casting update for you right now. We are going to talk about who is leaving the NBC streaming soap in 2024. I'm going to give you all the scoop that I have on this as of today. If you have not, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our spoilers, our casting news, any of that good stuff. All right, now let's jump in. So late last week, we saw Holly Jonas and Nicole Walker leaving Salem just a few days ago. That spawned a huge pile of speculation that Ariane Zucker was fired from Days of Our Lives. Do not buy that clickbait bull, you guys. Nicole is not gone for good and neither is Ari Zucker. So yes, technically she has left Days of Our Lives in 2024, but no, she's not gone, gone. She's just gone for now, back soon. In fact, we've got a confirmed spoiler for her return and it came from the mouth of Ken Corday, the executive producer, so it's official. He said that Sloane Peterson is going to give Nicole back her baby. This is coming pretty soon, like February sweeps. What's interesting is that it appears Sloane is going to find a way to do it without exposing her baby theft to Nicole or Eric. And apparently Eric and Nicole are going to remain in the dark about baby Jude's paternity for a little while longer. So at the same time that Holly Jonas left Salem with her mom, Tate Black also left, sent off to a juvie detention center where he'll be getting drug counseling, even though he's not the druggie. It was Holly who was smoking weed and popping pills. So yes, Holly, Nicole, and Tate have all left Days of Our Lives in 2024, but look for them all to return. And I suspect it'll be by the end of February sweeps. Tate may face a day in court, but hopefully Holly's just going to wake up and exonerate him. Nicole's back because she's going to get her baby back. They were all put on the back burner temporarily so they could bring the drug ring storyline with Clyde and with Ava and Stefan and the cops and everything to the forefront and resolve that once and for all. But honestly, if any storyline is begging for resolution, it's the one with Constantine Melionis. I don't know if Ron Carlovati's got some sort of obsession with 1980s John Hughes movies or something. I mean, yeah, I appreciate Carl the Janitor from Breakfast Club, but I'm a little tired of John Capellos and con man Constantine. It's gone on too long. Can we get him a one-way ticket on a GN Air back to his home country? I mean, ugh. Unfortunately... On my list of who's leaving in 2024, I do not have an end date yet for Constantine, but I do expect him to leave in 2024, but not for a little while longer because the pawn thing is all ramping up. You know, let's hope he's exposed and chased off in February sweeps, but I just doubt it. If they time his exit to align with sweeps, my guess would be May, not February. Fingers crossed for sooner, but also Steve Burton is done filming. He wrapped in December 2023, late December. That means his last scenes should air in June 2024. So yeah, Harris out in 2024. He's already over filming at General Hospital again, and Steve Burton is back to his longest-running soap role where he played mob hitman enforcer Jason Morgan, a far cry from his role as Salem police detective Harris Michaels, who seems to be a good guy other than, you know, that light case of brainwashing where he was out murdering people for Megan Hathaway. That character, that brainwashed character, that's actually a lot like his character over on General Hospital, which makes sense because head writer Ron Carlovati used to be the head writer over on General Hospital and he did a whole bunch of writing for Jason over the years. So Teresa Donovan tries to pack her bags and leave this week because she's so embarrassed by what happened with Brady kissing him and Alex walking in on them. She tried to reassure Alex that she and Brady are something from the past But he keeps questioning her still when she tries to pack and go. Alex stops her and asks her to stay. That being said, I do suspect Emily O'Brien should wrap her run as Teresa Donovan this year. 
I, it's hard to imagine how Teresa can stick around after the dirty truth about what she did to Xander and Alex with Victor Kidiakis's will comes out. But I have heard that Emily O'Brien is a favorite of the powers that be. So I do think they are going to try and find a way for her to stick around. Maybe they're going to bring back Gwen Rischek. Or maybe they're going to find some desperate way to redeem Teresa. Maybe she gives up a kidney to save somebody's life or something, you know. There's also the fate of co-conspirators Melinda Trask and Sloan Peterson to consider. It's hard to imagine how they're going to last through 2024, given the bad, bad things they've done. There's a glimmer of hope for Sloan when she comes up with a way to ease her guilt and stop Leo Stark's blackmail. She is going to give back the kiddo initially without admitting any guilt. If you're wondering how that can possibly happen, I don't have time to talk about it in this video, but I did a standalone video explaining how she can pull it off. You can see it on the day's playlist if you scroll down our made page, but I'm also going to drop a link to it at the end of this video so you can watch it if you haven't seen it already. It would definitely work. Even so, I expect Sloan is not going to be a long-term part of the character canvas. I do think she can survive the baby give back though. But once Eric Brady finds out she doctored those paternity tests, she is done for. And by the way, Jessica Serfati, who plays Sloan Peterson, is engaged to a billionaire. She's got billionaire wife things to do. So I don't think she's going to stick around days through 2024 for that reason as well. She's got a fabulous wedding to plan, a fabulous fiance, a fabulous wife, and being on days, eh, put those two on the scales. I know which one I'd go for. As for Sloan's pal, Melinda Trask, she might stick around, but I kind of doubt it. I feel like when and if Sloan exits, Melinda's going to be packed off too. You know, they might wind up cellmates at Statesville. Then again, Sloan's got ties in the UK. Melinda's got ties in China. Maybe they will both flee overseas when the heat is on. We'll see. We've also got Paulina Price getting that cancer diagnosis this week. But if you're worried if she's going to die, if she's going to exit Salem in 2024, I don't think so. Sarah Horton pointed out that thyroid cancer is very treatable, so don't worry about her. I have a feeling she's going to be around all year long. Lucas Horton is getting out of the infirmary soon, and then he's going to be getting out of prison soon. And actor Brian Dottillo teased that once he's out of Statesville, Lucas goes somewhere worse. He said it's hilarious and out of left field. I have a couple ideas of what he might mean by this, but I'm going to devote a whole video video to it because I'm still thinking about it and I think it's worth exploring in its own video. I, I do also think though that Brian Dottillo is going to be gone from days of our lives before 2024 closes down. He's going to get out of prison. He's going to have this little story he's talking about and then I feel like yeah he's going to be gone. He's part of that you know revolving door of cast that comes and goes. I don't think he's gone forever but I do think he will leave in 2024. And the last person I want to talk about is the fate of Ava Vitale, especially knowing that Harris is leaving town. All signs point to a Gabby Hernandez recast coming soon. Constant name drops, rumors about who the actress is. Usually that stuff, when it has legs like that, it comes to fruition. So that means there's likely not any kind of long-term prospect for romance between Ava and Stefan. There's this spoiler for this coming week about them both being frustrated in their underpants and maybe something's going to happen with them. But it's really hard to see a future for Ava in Salem once Harris is gone, knowing that Gabby is likely coming back very soon. But there's no confirmation yet on her exit. All right, that's the latest on who all I know is leaving days in 2024 and who I suspect may leave. I will continue giving you updates as casting news breaks all year long, of course, about who's in and who's out of the NBC Peacock streaming. So please click subscribe if you haven't already and definitely come back soon. Drop your comments on who you're worried about leaving and let me know what you guys think. I love reading your comments and be sure and come back because we're here talking days, seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. 
Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 